What's going on guys, James here today and this is the 2016 tutorial on how to make your FSX simulation a lot more realistic. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So, first of all, we are starting with the Orbex simulation systems. From first hand experience, Orbex is one of the best scenery producers I have ever used and dealt with. They have an extensive range of products ranging from the FTX Global Product Range to the FTX Global Airports, FTX Terrain Regions, European Airports, Australian Airports and North American Airports, New Zealand Airports as well as scenic destinations, cityscapes, aircrafts and they also have the FSS Go to Eco Launcher. Orbex are renowned for producing scenery which is unparalleled with compared to other scenery designers. I haven't seen another scenery designer except maybe from Fly Tampa that comes anywhere close to comparing with the Orbex scenery in every aspect. So from the start, one product I would recommend getting is the FTX Global Base. There are many reasons for this. One main reason to me to get this product would be due to the fact that it has a zero FPS loss. Therefore that means it blends in new textures and ground textures and lights overnight and has four different seasonal weather patterns for each different scenery and landscape. But you still get the exact same frame rate you would with the default FSX scenery. Which to me is very appealing because for people running on low end systems as well as high end systems they want to try and get as many frame rates as they can. So that is very appealing to me and for many others who do use Orbex scenery and the Orbex global base as well. So getting on with the next range of products from Orbex, I would go with the FTX terrain regions. The ones I would use is England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. They're the ones I personally have and they are truly amazing. Unless obviously you come from a different country and you want to use some different terrain regions, which by all means is fine. So I'm just going to give a little insight into what the European England terrain region has. So it has over 130,410 square kilometers of FTX scenery, brand new be beautiful ground textures, new trees made from local photographs, roads, rivers, coastlines, lakes, railways, 10 meters of whole mesh for crisp definition. All major and many minor airports have been upgraded. Custom UK airport objects and markings, impressively detailed City of London. Numerous polygon land class areas, handcrafted land class for entire region, developed in Hampshire, UK. Hand placed super accurate autogen. So basically what that is saying is the scenery has been developed in the UK, so it has been done by UK developers as well. Um, from Orbex, which means they have had a better understanding of England, which makes it well, which shows it's going to be a very realistic scenery and from first class use it bloody well is and it's something I definitely would advise getting. So I would also recommend downloading some of the Orbex UK airports that they have. Southampton being one of my favourites. Um, it's about one of the best add-on sceneries I've had for a detailed airport. You've got the Orbex scenery as well as you've also got people walking around. You actually have people walking around the airport which is really cool because it uses the Orbex flow technologies so you can see the people loading the baggage trolleys in so even if you don't have GSX you still got people and movement in that airport which is great so that is another add-on I'd recommend getting so moving away from ground scenery we are now moving into in-flight scenery and we are starting off with Rex simulations flight simulation software so Rex Simulations offer high quality realistic weather, texture and effect software for the flight simulation community. As you can see, they offer uh, a wide range of products, Weather Architect, Soft Clouds, Texture Direct, Text Direct slash the Soft Clouds Bundle, Rex Essential Plus, Rex Essential Plus Overdrive, etc. Going on for the different formats from FS2004 all the way to Xplane and Prepare 3D. One product we're going to have a look at is the Rex Essential Plus Overdrive. So Rex Essential Plus Overdrive consists of everything that Rex Essential Plus offers including an additional 12GB of HD quality, user scalable textures, the process 
used in creating these newer textures allow for much more fidelity and realism and have become widely accepted in the flight simulator community. So what is Rex Essentials plus Overdrive? Basically it's a weather engine which allows you to customise themes within FSX and customise the text textures which Rex Simulations provides within its weather engine such as 3D clouds, runways, rain, thunderstorms, wind, turbulence and one of the things that I really enjoy doing is customising the water because um, if say you're in Australia near the coral reef you can get that really cool nice coral reef look when you're coming inland towards Australia or anywhere near where coral reefs might be maybe on the side of Jamaica or somewhere like that instead of having that horrible normal FSX water another thing which I really like about Rex is the fact that you can change the themes of the weather and the uh, lighting and the different dusks and the different dawns and the different suns the light effects that you can have as well it is really to the complete solution of the user um, to be able to customize it for what they want uh, which is great which is from a first hand user is something brilliant and I would definitely recommend getting it so sticking with the weather topic with an FSX another program I would recommend downloading or purchasing would be Active Sky Next, especially to go with the textures that Rex provides. They do work in conjunction well together. I do that myself. But what Active Sky Next actually does is act as a real life and real time weather data for FSX. So you know when you usually put real world weather on within FSX, it updates every 15 minutes and it's really not very accurate. Whereas this thing updates all the time from real world metadata and you know if there's a thunderstorm in that area in real life that you're flying in there will be a thunderstorm in the simulation and you will be getting the same winds you'll get wind turbulence you get icing effects when you fly through a cloud usually with an FSX the cloud just kind of shift out the way like you can still see everything but with an active sky next when you fly through a cloud it just goes white you can't see much through a uh, the glare shield etc and it's it just makes it enhance and it enhances the experience for you so obviously when you're in a cloud you can't really see much when you're actually flying through a cloud in real life and that's exactly what it is now like with active sky next it has enhanced air effects cloud effects realistic radar technology and expanded data resolution and coverage as you can see it's 29.99 euros i think it cost me 26 pounds at the time they also have microburst, weight turbulence, wind shear and general turbulence effects which I can promise you flying with a 40 knot crosswind into some horrible little island in Scotland um, near Iceland or Greenland wherever it is is really not fun but it's very challenging and it was something I really enjoyed doing even though I didn't find it very fun at the time so yeah I would definitely advise getting out to Sky Next as well so moving away from the weather aspect of flight within flight simulator we move on to FS passengers who if you really do enjoy that realism and want to enhance that even more this program allows you to have passengers within FSX on your plane as well as cabin crew and basically it includes more than 1200 in-flight sounds to immerse you in the ambience of flight attendance passenger special effects and you get to listen to the ATC chatter music GPS and more. You also get passengers reacting to how you actually fly. You can even hear them scream if you make drastic mistakes and get their opinion on your flight in real time. So say you're going through some turbulence, some really bad horrible turbulence in a storm, then passengers are not going to be happy and they'll let you know that. You can also fly for an airline as well so you can create your own airline and start your pilot career through that. So if you're someone that doesn't just like to fly for the sake of flying and you want an aim to that, you can make money for successful flights and be fined if you do something wrong. So that adds to the challenge as well. And you also get to manage an airline, make money, manage an aircraft fleet, etc. So say when you do enough flights, you can then upgrade your aircraft. You'll start small, maybe with a Cessna caravan. And then grow your way up to an A380. So it's definitely something I would 
I would definitely go with and it is really enjoyable when you're flying a plane through turbulence and you hear passengers start screaming. It's rather amusing as well. So yeah, that is definitely something I would advise getting. So quickly moving back to the ground scenery. With Orbex, it was great, but if it does come in quite pricey when you combine everything together. So Flight One Software offer Ultimate Terrain X Europe, which does the same sort of thing as Orbex, just not as good. So yeah, obviously it just enhances basically the land textures with an FSX and the crown. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about that because we already did that with Orbex. So yeah, this is basically just a cheaper version of it. So we've done the weather, we've also done ground scenery. We're now looking into what it's like, going to be like in flying in FSX itself with an actual aircraft. Especially with FS passengers, you want that realistic aircraft feel as well. So Airbus X Extended is one thing I use all the time and I have always used within flight sim since I started. Learning how to fly the aircraft was amazing, but this is one of the most realistic aircraft add-ons for the Airbus series of A320s, A321s, A318s and A319s that is now available from Aerosoft. It's been around for a little while but they always keep you updated and it is really realistic when it comes to flying the actual aircraft itself. Everything is to everything is by the book and as it would be in real life and it's definitely an aircraft I would advise flying. If you want to see some videos on that check out my channel because that is definitely where I use a lot of the Airbus. So sticking with the aircraft again, obviously if you're not too much of an Airbus flyer and you like the good old traditional Boeings like the 7.4s, the Treble 7s, the 7.3s then PMDG software is the one for you. They offer the Treble 7, the 200 long range plus the freighter base package and they also offer the 300 series extended range uh, the expansion for that but you also have the 737 NGX but you can then get the I think you can actually get the 600 and 700 series and you can also get the BAE Jetstream which is a great product as well they do also have the PMDG 747 Queen of the Skies I don't know why that isn't being advertised on the website right now, but I definitely have it and it is just as good as the Trouble 7. Also, once again, if you want to see a video on this, check out my channel. I have some Trouble 7 videos on that. But this is literally just like the Airbus X. It is by the book to how it would be in real life. So starting one of these bad boys up is just like starting it from cold and dark in real life and is one of the best aircraft add-ons for FSX. So guys, that is it. That is all the add-ons I would advise to start you off with FSX in making it as real as possible within the simulation. Obviously, I will put a link to all the different products in the description. And if you want to see some reviews uh, on these products, then be sure to leave a comment and I'll do separate reviews on each one showing you what they do, how to use them, and how it enhances FSX itself. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it really has helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and be sure to keep tuning in for my next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.